If you want to have another entry in my 10 times diamond pass rail giveaway, just subscribe, like this video, and comment. Yo, what's going on, guys? Today, we're going to be playing Pekka Bridge Spam. Pekka Bridge Spam is back and probably better than ever. The new Evo Battle Ram and also the Evo Zap are just so good in this deck. Some of the top evolutions in the game. Okay, we can just Mother Witch. This might be really good already. The Mother Witch is actually really nice against Dagger Duchess. It just wastes all the ammo and the piggies. I think this guy does have E Golem. Unfortunately, we have no big spell though. Okay, we have to Arrows. I'll just go in for the Pencil. Battle Ram should connect if he doesn't play anything. Okay, I'll take it. Unlike the Cannoneer, the Dagger Duchess can actually take care of the Knight, which is pretty good, unless it's low on ammo. Okay, we're definitely down a few Elixir, but not a crazy amount because of that Knight Witch, so we should be able to be fine. Okay, there's the Purple Blob. He might make a big double lane push, so we do have to watch out. The nice thing in this matchup is that he can't really kill our little Prince. I don't know why he's pumping up right now while making a push. We can just P.E.K.K.A. and this should be a really good counter push. <laughs> we have to give the Eagle and players the Primal emote. <laughs> just gonna arrows everything. And that should be pretty good. I feel like Little Prince will take care of the Skeletons pretty quickly. We can also Ghost Battle Ram this side. I know he's gonna Night Witch. That's all his DPS right now, so we can Evo Zap. This could be pretty nice. Not a connection, but... <laughs> the... the Dagger Duchess is so bad when it loses its ammo. It's so easy to punish it when you have a deck like Pekka. Pekka is pretty good against Dagger Duchess, except the Battle Ram does get countered. I don't care about activating the King Tower here, just want to get rid of both pumps. Kind of worth it. His right side tower is already pretty much down anyways. Okay, we just have to defend this push, and if we do, we should be okay. We do have the Evo Battle Ram too if we need it for some pressure. So I just want to save the little prince here for the left side because I know he's going to go for a second e golem. Yeah, for sure he will. Very good zap. Okay, we can just ability. Need to arrows all of this. Pretty nice value. But wait, the evo skele skeleton on the right side. Okay, we're actually fine. Wow. <laughs> yeah, the double small spell is so clutch. Alright then, I'll see you guys in the next match. We're up against... A stroke? I hope he's not having one. Seeing the fire spirit, it pretty much already means it's gonna be goblin show. Yeah, I knew it. We have a pretty bad cycle. Okay, we'll see how arrows do here. I feel like it should prevent most damage. Wow, no damage. Except the goblin drill spawning. Wow, that's crazy. Dagger Duchess is so good, man. Especially against stuff like goblin drill. And also hog rider. I saw that hog rider gets fully countered by dagger duchess plus a bandit. Normally this matchup is a bit tough, but I feel like the Evo Battle Ram and also us having Dagger Duchess will definitely help out quite a bit. You do have to zap, unfortunately. It's so weird getting used to all the new interactions with the Dagger Duchess. You don't have to respond to nearly as many things as you would if you had a Princess Tower. It's so weird seeing spirits and all of that kind of stuff never connect to the tower anymore. Even Battle Ram doesn't connect unless you... Have something tanking. Cal Battle Ram the back. Our next Battle Ram will be the Evo, so we can make a pretty nice P.E.K.K.A. push with it, probably. Okay, I knew he would do that. <laughs> you have to be so careful of Evo Bomber. Ooh, forcing out a whole Inferno Tower. Wow, that's pretty bad for him. I don't even know if he needed that, honestly. Since he wasted that, I'll just go in for the P.E.K.K.A. now. He's definitely down a few Elixir. He could try to pressure, so we do have to be careful. Okay, I'm gonna ghost for wall breakers. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. Just gonna zap these. Oh man, the goblins are getting so much damage. Once the dagger is out of ammo, it just doesn't do anything really. Pretty good ghost damage, but we need some more on the left side, hopefully. No, I think that's not gonna be anything. Is he going to Inferno Tower in time? I think he will. Yeah. We can still go in for the Evo Zap and try to somehow get our Bandit on Tower, maybe. Okay, wait, that's a really good Evo Zap. Hold up. That is on Tower. Okay. 
not too much damage, but that is qu quite good. He's saying good luck. <laughs> this man's mood is changing every five seconds. Really good ability with the little prince. It's always really good to predict the wall breakers with it. I feel like we have him in a pretty bad spot. We can arrows this quickly. Okay, we just need really any little bit of chip damage. Gonna little prince for wall breakers. Even if they don't play their wall breakers, it's still fine usually. You don't get too bad of a trade. Okay, gonna arrows. Wait, this is really good. <laughs> he might have lost already. Yeah, we got him. Good game. We're up against a mega curd of cheese. The cheese master. <laughs> Probably Orange Juice's apprentice for those of you who know him. Probably most of you. This looks like Lava Hound, just seeing the Inferno Dragon. This could be a little bit tough because normally this deck has Cannoneer, but now we have Dagger Duchess, which is pretty good in most matchups, but against Lava Hound it could be a little bit tough. Yeah, definitely Lava Hound. Man, did this guy really just starting hand us? Okay, we're kind of dead. It just does nothing against the Balloon now. Well, well, well. Don't really know what we're going to do. Okay, well, I, I will still pop the ability. Force out something. Perfect timing. Okay. It's kind of hard to pressure much, though, because... I mean, we kind of have to battle ram, but I know it's going to die to the tower on the right. At least he will still have to respond to the barbs it spawns. We'll see how our Dagger Duchess does here. It does counter Skeleton Dragons pretty well, but only when it's fully charged up. Honestly, quite a bad start. We do still have a chance, though, to do something. It's just very hard to defend without Cannoneer. I'm going to go for the Ghost and then also Bandit because he has no barbs. Okay, perfect timing. It's really good if you pressure right as you predict them to Lava Hound. Oh, the Miner didn't die. I don't think it matters too much, though. I'm not sure if he has anything to defend this. This could be nearly Tower Down. We can't defend either, though. I'm not even going to try to do anything. With Cannoneer, you have a chance to defend, but with this Tower, you just have to be very aggressive and know that you can't really defend. We do have our Evo Batarang, which could be pretty nice. Gonna Evo Zappies. Wait, this might actually be Tower Down on the left side. Okay, that's pretty good. We can just Arrows this and then go in for the Evo Batarang. We'll see what he does here. Okay. He's not really trying to defend very much. Uh, I don't like this too much, actually. Oh, the Evo Zap for our Mother Witch. Not the best ability. We just have to go in. Hope something happens. Oh, we might be dead, guys. I don't think we can defend. I don't know. I'm gonna Mother Witch try to get something going. Wait, those are pretty bad barbs. Okay, we have something going. Hopefully our little prince can help out a bit. Unfortunately, Mother Witch is dead. I mean, we're kind of surviving. Oh, hold up. This might be some damage for him. Oh, the bandit didn't pull it back. No. Oh, I think that's a good game. Okay, thankfully that didn't get the extra hit right there. Dude, these barbs will not die though since they're Evo. What do we even do here? We can break through when he has normal barbs, but the Evo barbs are just impossible to stop. Okay, we have to get the Evo zap down. Hopefully we take no hits. If we do take even one hit, we're kind of dead. Oh no. Oh, I think it's over. Wait, hold up. We do have our Evo battle armor. I'm just going to go for it. I don't think it's going to get through the barbs, but if we're lucky, maybe it will. Oh, not thanks to the Evo Zap. No. Good game. No candy, only Wi-Fi. All right, dude. What the flip phone? 
Oh no, not a bowler. That's pretty much the worst case scenario when you play a battle ram first play. I'm just gonna P.E.K.K.A right into it. I think this guy does play Giant Graveyard. He used to play a few years back, but I guess he finally came back now that Giant Graveyard is probably the best deck in the game. Very interesting graveyard. Too bad we don't have Mother Witch in cycle. Oh, the Inferno Dragon. I think we're okay, though. Oh, I died. Okay, that is a dead P.E.K.K.A., but... Our tower does pretty much fully counter Inferno Dragon. Wait, is that Mega Minion in front? <laughs> Wait, yeah, it is. Okay, that's pretty good, but... We're gonna take a lot of damage. I don't want to ghost... Because that would be a bit too much. We can just pencil. His tower isn't full ammo, so it's not going to fully counter even the pencil form. <laughs> Wait, he's dead already? Wow. I mean, not completely, but that's pretty good damage. <laughs> Imagine if we had Mother Witch. We'd have like a thousand hoggies taking his tower, but I'll take this too. Ghost may spawn the piggy out of this bowler. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> We're just punishing giant graveyard players. Wow, full tower down. Alright, I think he's pretty much dead. I'll see you guys in the next match. We got a match against a 2.6 player. 2.6 used to be the worst matchup for P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam, but it might be quite a bit better now with all the new additions to the deck. Oh, I guess it's not 2.6. I don't think this will get any hits, so we have to arrows too to force out something. Oh, perfect. Okay, it looks like Royal Giant. Royal Giant is fine for P.E.K.K.A. It's not super easy because sometimes they just fisherman your P.E.K.K.A. and then their RG gets so much damage, but you can definitely win if you play well. It's pretty hard for them to stop the pencil, especially the Evo pencil should be good. There's the RG. I don't know why he's playing an RG in the back versus P.E.K.K.A. Not a very smart play. You always want to RG at the bridge. If you're facing a P.E.K.K.A. deck. Just trying to give this guy some coaching lessons. <laughs> okay, so we have to zap here. Ooh, this is so bad though. Because our P.E.K.K.A.'s already dead to the Phoenix. And our tower's doing nothing against the RG. Not quite as bad as it could have been though. Okay, this is actually pretty bad. <laughs> Once again, we have to go for the pencil just to tank. And then we have to try to get our ghost down. Hopefully he doesn't pressure us too much right now, because if he does, we're kind of dead. Bit of a wasted bar barrel, at least. I'm hoping he doesn't Evo RG anytime soon. Okay, I think we're safe. If he tries to RG, we have our little prince and ability. And now our P.E.K.K.A. We do have Evo Zap, so we can stun a fisherman for quite some time. Okay, there's the Evo RG. We can just P.E.K.K.A. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Who told this man... It's a smart play to RG the back against P.E.K.K.A. I mean, keep on doing it because I'm happy with this, but... I don't know if he's going to be able to survive. I I then again, I feel like he might be able to because his defense is really good against us. Especially the Phoenix, but that's a beautiful Evo Zap. Okay, wait, he's actually in big trouble. <laughs> Evo Zap kind of just carried us. We need to arrows this, unfortunately. Now, he might be in pretty big trouble. At least he should be. If he defends this... He needs a certificate immediately. Okay, I mean, he kind of defended, but... Still quite a bit of damage, so... Yeah, I revoke his certificate. Phoenix may respawn, but... This could be good. Oh! The Battle Ram! <laughs> it's kind of nice to see that the Battle Ram even pushes away hovering cards like Ghost. Because the RG knockback, for example, of the Evo RG doesn't affect Ghost. We're in a pretty good spot so far. Come on, please RG the back again. Oh, he missed! <laughs> Wait, our Mother Witch. Our Mother Witch is going to get on the skeletons a little bit, at least. And kind of just messing up everything for him. Oh, hold up. What's happening? I don't know what's happening. Um, Not bad, I guess. That piggy will get quite a few nibbles on the tower. Okay, we just need one more solid push, I feel like. One or two more. I'm gonna P.E.K.K.A up high. Oh, he's... I think he's dead. I think he's dead. He's gonna get a really nice fireball, but we can just pencil either way. 
He can't fireball and defend everything else. Okay, Ghost should take it. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye!